Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in the Sierra Nevada foothills. Um, I was going to try to make a video right here by my campsite, but these guys over here, where are they? These guys are making noise. So, um, there they go. So I'm going to take a walk up the nature trail here, and uh, then I'll do some more talking and uh, tell you what went down this last week. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, didn't have to get very far from them to, to get it quiet. Yeah, I'm just, uh, we're camping out here just outside uh, Jackson, California. It's a beautiful little RV park affiliated with the uh, Jackson Rancheria uh, Casino. Owned by the, some Indian tribe. I'm sorry guys, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know their name. So anyway. Um, sorry for the bouncing. I'm taking a walk, trying to uh, decompress after this past week, which was uh, pretty intense. So if you'll recall, in last week's video, we uh, were given a challenge by uh, our C CIO, you know, just so you can see my face here. Um, CIO basically said um, he wanted everything moved off of our old uh, legacy core to the new fabric core within a week. Um, he said that because uh, we were getting network loops. Um, Extreme Shield still hasn't given us a truly adequate reason why. There's reasons we think. Um, but the upshot is on the new fabric we've got um, VLAN based loop protection. So we have simple loop protection protocol on the VLANs. We can put it on the ports. Uh, we put it on all the ports of the uh, edge switches out there. Um, it just, we don't really have any loop prevention protocols other than, you know, an old version of spanning tree on the old cores. So Extreme said, you know what, if you move on to the, the uh, new fabric, this, this won't happen. So CIO said, fine, do it in a week. And uh, he said he didn't care. We had to work nights, weekends, whatever, make it happen. So last Saturday... 12-hour day, Sunday, 8-hour day, Monday, 10-and-a-half-hour day, Tuesday, 10-hour day, Wednesday, 10-hour day. We were done by Wednesday. And then Thursday, we came in to help the server guys, because the other half of that is the servers had to be moved over to the switches that are on the new fabric. So that was another 10-hour day for, for those guys, and they didn't finish. But I was done. So um, no weekend last weekend, and... Uh, I committed to my boss, or my boss committed to me that, that if we got our stuff done, that I could have this weekend off. And here I am, having the weekend off. Um, because it is Network Admin Wife's birthday this weekend, so we are going to celebrate. And uh, I do not want to be out there working while she's, you know, home alone with no one on her birthday. So what, what did we do? Um, what we did... <laughs> What we did is um, we the original plan was just to uh, run fibers from the old patch panels to the new uh, fabric switch. Uh, we couldn't get long enough fiber patch cables because the the patch panels are on one side of the room, the new equipment's on the other side of the room. Uh, we couldn't get patch patch cables in time, and it's a mix of old OM1 fiber patches, uh, you know, SC, LC, and ST connections. Um, just, just a mix of whatever technology they were using at the time. Um, so that was not going to be easy. The good thing was on the switch side, they were all LC connections. So, um, you know, the boss was saying, well, we're going to try to rush some cable orders. And I said, I don't think we're going to be able to get cables in time. So I, I was trying to think what we could do. And then I remembered we have... Uh, uh, we had a spare switch sitting in the uh, storage room that we ordered for one thing or another, and it's just been sitting there. Um, and it's it's all uh, SFP connections, SFP plus connections. Um, so I said, I'll tell you what, why don't we mount this switch next to the old fiber patch panel, and then we'll just pull a couple of fiber pairs over to the new fabric, get that switch fabric attached, and then all we got to do is move the fibers from the legacy core to this new switch. Just swing them over. 
And uh, she said, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Okay. <laughs> it's just only brilliant because I remember we had that switch. So um, that's what we did. We put the, we installed the switch. And um, I wish it was just as easy as just swinging the fibers over. Um, we had to set up the VLANs on that switch. And um, we could just, you know, shotgun it and just say, every VLAN that's already out there, let's just put it on there. But we decided, my boss decided, uh, let's take this opportunity and clean up the VLANs. Um, because, you know, if you do, if you put them all on there, uh, then you got, you know, VLANs you're not using. You're going to get uh, discards on the ports. And, uh, you know, discards are a normal everyday network thing, but we don't want, you know, tons of them. Not tons and tons of discards. So that was part of the problem. Um, sorry for the swing. I'm trying to find a nice background. There we go. That one's pretty nice. And I'm going to... No, I'm not going to switch hands. There we go. Yes, I am. Hang on. Bear with me. I am switching hands. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, so, um, we were cleaning up all the VLANs on all the switches. Um, and that's what took the most amount of time, believe it or not. It was it was really easy just to, to swing the, the fiber over. You know, it took two seconds. But it, it's all the clean up and prep work. The cleanup and prep work involved, you know, seeing what VLANs are actually out on the edge ports versus what's on the uplinks. Clearing them out if they're not in use on the edge port. You know, clear the VLAN off the switch. Um, and then making sure spanning tree is enabled properly on legacy switches that are still out there, edge switches. And then making sure spanning tree and SLPP, simple loop prevention protocol, are enabled on the newer XOS switches. That's what took the biggest amount of time. So as far as fibers that we swung over, that was about 22 switches. Um, so that doesn't sound too bad. 22 switches, that was, you know, pretty easy to do. It wasn't the actual switches that we swung themselves. It was the switches daisy-chained off of those downstream. And of those 22 switches, we had downstream, uh, what did I count? Um, I think it was in the neighborhood of 60 switches. So 60 switches we had to go through and check all the VLANs and uplinks and, you know, get rid of, get rid of the VLANs that we don't need on the uplinks, which we did. So the first day it took 12 hours to move like six fiber pairs, so six switches. But all the switches downstream are what took the most time. Um... And then the next day we ended up doing 12, and then on Monday we couldn't finish on Sunday, and on Monday we, we pretty much finished most of it. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday there's a few other little minor things we had to take care of. So uh, they weren't switches, they were just like devices that were hanging off of there. So anyway, we got it done. So all of our network infrastructure is now moved over to the new fabric. The um, what isn't moved over is the um, the servers, so we still need to finish moving the servers over. Um, and they were still doing that yesterday. So, whoops. See, man, I just can't trust my fingers. Sorry about that. Let's get me back where I belong. Without that big face there. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Um, yeah, sorry. This arm just got tired. Um, so yeah, they're still moving the servers over, um, and I don't think they finished. And we ran into the exact same issue. Well, no, we ran into another issue with the servers. We had to do the exact same thing. Um, so we went to so Friday, Thursday mornings when we were going to start moving the servers. So we show up at 5 a.m. Everybody, the server guys are there. It's the first time they've come on site to actually do anything. Well, not really, but pretty much. <laughs> they. Um, so the plan was to um, power down one of the physical hosts. You know, we'll first migrate all the the virtuals to off of off of one host. Um, power it down, move it over, power it back up, migrate the the virtuals back. Um, so we started doing that, and very first problem they ran into is the rails won't fit the new racks. Nobody ever thought to check. Will the rails fit the new rack? Hmm. So, um, so they ended up putting them back and they said, well, we, we can't migrate. We just can't migrate. So I said, uh, hey, those cables, 
So how long are those? They use these, uh, they're called DAC, I think they're called DAC cables. They're like the, the copper cables with the, the uh, SFP GBIC built into the end. I said, well, how long are those cables? He says, oh, they're pretty long. Okay, well, will they reach from, if you route it back from the old switch they're, they're on, will they reach to the new switch? Oh, I don't know. Maybe check. So he did. He was able to, to pull those off. He's powered down the host anyway. Pulled off the old cables, routed them to the new switch, powered up the host, and uh, yeah, that worked. Um, well, it mostly worked. We did run into one problem where uh, vMotion wasn't working on the new servers, and uh, we we're trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. And uh, we had we had VMware on the call, we had Extreme on the call, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out, and then uh, my boss beat me over the head with something I'm always beating her over the head with was, uh, which was, um, did you check the tagging? I said, yeah, the tagging's right. She goes, what about the tagging between the old core and the new core? Is that vMotion VLAN there? Let me check. <laughs> so, and that's what it ended up being. Um, so yeah, one of these days I'm going to have a t-shirt made that says it's the tagging stupid. Um, I've been talking about that since my last job, and we always joke about it, you know, when something doesn't work, have you checked tagging, check tagging, check tagging? Yeah, and this time it was tagging. So It's usually not a network problem, but this time it was, so I let the server guys have their, their fun. You know, it was a network problem. <laughs> so, anyway. So, yeah, that's the long, sad tale. Um, it's, it's really easy to take, what, 11 minutes and change to, to talk about it, but doing it was just, just a bear and um, very mentally taxing. Uh, it's amazing when you don't get a weekend, you got to work through the weekend, how, um, just how off you feel and how, how tired and fatigued you are. You, we really need our downtime. Well, I, I really need my downtime, let's put it that way. So... At any rate, I am enjoying my weekend now. I'm enjoying this this beautiful scenery out there. Um, beautiful place. I've flown over this for years, and I've always looked down here. I, I've never really stopped down here. That uh, that peak whoop, right there, it's got a tower on the top of it. I hope you can see it on the video radio tower. That's been one of my landmarks for flying for years. When I this is it's north that way. That way that's south back there. Um, when I'd fly up to the north and coming back south, I can see that uh, that radar that hill with the tower on it for 100 miles or more, um, and that's that's kind of my beacon. I fly towards that. Once you get past that, you just keep flying that way, and that's home, right on the other side of that tree. <laughs> so, anyway, sorry, flying has nothing to do with network admin, but uh, I love flying and it relaxes me. So anyway, that's all I got for this week. We're going on 13 minutes and change, so we'll, we'll cut it there. Um, thanks for watching. I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll come I'll come up with a, a diagram that I can show you guys of what we did in, in the next video, and uh, give you give you a better idea rather than just talk about it. But uh, I was done with work and technology. I am I am unplugged this weekend. I don't have my laptop. I am uh, I just didn't want to think about switching anymore. <laughs> I'm taking a break. We're going to go kayaking this afternoon, so that'll be fun. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If, uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff, all that YouTuber stuff. And uh, as always, we'll catch you next time. And even more importantly, God bless. We'll catch you later. <laughs>